by Jeff here at Mr. Hardwater. We're poolside today um, explaining the carbureted hopper and some of the components that make up the carbureted hopper. This video is going to describe the uh, operation of our regulator assembly, which is attached to our hopper cart. Now, the first thing you're going to note on this assembly is that there's two gauges here, air pressure gauges, and there's also a regulator gauge, which allows you to control the amount of airflow going through the system. The other thing you also see here is this red uh, handle, and this red handle here is your on-off uh, switch that's going to regulate how much air is going to flow through these gauges, flow through the regulator, and through the tube, and into the uh, carbureted unit on the hopper. So let's take a look at the airflow. First of all, we supply the airflow from our air compressor, and we talked about that in a previous video where we need to maintain um, the required cubic feet per minute at a given pressure in order to sustain the operation effectively. So in order to uh, work with your uh, pressure regulator assembly here, the first thing we're going to do is take our quick neck and we're going to pop it onto our quarter inch uh, male plug here. First thing you're going to see here is that this gauge is going to register the exact same pressure that's going to be in your air compressor tank. So for example, if you're using an air compressor with 125 PSI, then what you'll see is you're going to see this gauge pop up to 125 PSI. Now the gauge that we put on here only goes up to 200 because uh, that's generally the uh, standard air compressors that work with these systems. Obviously they make air compressors that supply a much higher um, pressure, but in this case we really don't need those, so the air gauge here only goes up to 200 PSI. So let's go ahead and plug in the uh, air hose from our air compressor and we will begin to transfer air into the regulator and we can step it down to the desired uh, uh, airflow rate and we can put it into our carburetor. So let's use our quick connect, we can put it in and you can see here that we have uh, about 100 PSI and our gauge right here is stopping the airflow from going any further. Now what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, close this off so that I don't blow out the valve. If you open this up and this is fully on, all of that 100 PSI pressure is going to flow through this gauge and this gauge only goes up to 15 PSI so you can effectively just blow it right out. So what we're going to do is turn this off and now we'll turn the lever slowly like this and now what we can do is we can begin to increase the amount of pressure and you can see the gauge or the needle going up into the green area and that's the area that you're going to want to operate your carbureted hopper in. So right now we have the air going here about 100 PSI, it's stepping it down to about uh, 6 or 7 PSI, it's flowing through this blue hose here and we've connected it into the, um, uh, the Venturi assisted carburetor. From here the air goes right through our system like this and that's going to help to blow the air out this side. Notice that we have two valves here. This one will stop that airflow if you wish, and this one will open it. And right now I can feel that we have air coming out of here. One thing I can do too is to test this gauge. I can close off these valves, put my finger over here, and this needle will begin to flow. Okay? So if I were to open this up even further, add some more pressure, you can see that needle really go up. So that's the control. So that's the control that the pressure regulator assembly has for you when you're operating the carbureted hopper. One thing to note too is that you can really supply any kind of air source you wish into, uh, into the carbureted hopper. You'll note here that you have a 3 8 inch uh, valve and right here we step it down to a 3 inch to a quarter inch bushing and the quarter inch uh, plug goes into here. So if you wanted to, you could find uh, pretty much any kind of air source that would feed into here that would run the carburetor. However, the problem you're going to run into is finding a, uh, an air source with a motor sufficiently strong enough to deliver the cubic feet per minute at that pressure to sustain the operation. And that's why we choose an air compressor because that's what they're designed to do. So in summary then, our, uh, our 
pressure regulator assembly um, works like that. And why don't we take it off the uh, cart now and I can show you the assembly bracket. And you can see I just used a quick connect to pull that off. You notice that there's two thumb screws on here and that holds the bracket into place. What I'm going to do now is just untwist our regulator assembly and it screws apart like this, like this. And if you so wish, you can now unscrew these thumb screws and you take off the entire bracket. Um, now the bracket uh, attaches firmly onto the cart. I usually leave the bracket on when I'm transporting the machine and I usually put this back into the case uh, to protect it from damage. So overall, that's the point of the pressure regulator assembly and the bracket and its function then is to step down the air pressure from the air compressor which is 125 psi and not only step it down but to hold that pressure constant using the regulator so we can have a constant supply of air going into our pressure uh, to our venturi assisted carburetor and that is going to help us drive our media further from the hopper so we can get 50 to 100 feet and it'll also help us to move the heavier medias, which we need uh, when working on pool tile, stone, uh, marine applications, construction, landscape, etc. So I hope this video helps.